Hello, this is Dr. Gay. And I want to talk about the patella and its relationship to the trochlea. So the trochlea is part of the femur, and the patella is this little bone, the kneecap, here, this up front is a free-floating bone. It's attached to the thigh muscles by the quadriceps tendon, and also it's attached to the tibia by the patellar tendon. It also has these struts over here that come off in the sides that go to the femur. This is the patella up front, the kneecap. It's called your medial retinaculum, the medial patellar retinaculum that comes over here and attaches to the femur. This is the lateral patellar retinaculum. There's kind of thin bands, and this is the patella. So if I zoom, zoom, zoom up here, we can see that the patella has a nice black articular cortex here, and this gray stuff is the patellar cartilage. And this patient has a really nice thick uh, patellar cartilage, and this is the apex of the patella. It comes over here to a point and comes over. And this is the patellar apex. You have the medial side, lateral side, and the apex of the patella. Now, if you drop a line straight down from the patellar apex, you should go through the central part of the femur. So I'm going to come down, 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 and now we're into the femur. This is a trochlea. It's called the trochlear sulcus. It's like a little groove here that the patella glides in, but we can note that here the patella is too far lateral. This is the, right where it should sit right here, but instead it's over here. So this is mild lateral patellar subluxation. And also this trochlea, this trochlear sulcus, is a little too shallow. Usually it's a deeper sulcus, a deeper groove, and the patella sits in it more easily. But there's lots of congenital variability with this. And so they have a shallow trochlear sulcus and mild lateral patellar subluxation. Now, in bad cases, it can be worse, and sometimes the patella can actually tilt or rotate out laterally, and they call that patellar tilt. Oftentimes, we see the cartilage thinned and irregular. We don't really see that. The only thing we note is a little bit of fluid in this patient, a little teeny bit of fluid, probably related to some irritation of the cartilage because of this. Anyway, that is it, so thank you very much.